Hi, my name is Mark Anderson. Today we're going to be discussing drafting within the manufacturing environment. As I said, my name is Mark Anderson. I am an application engineer specializing in NXCAM with Ceratech. Our goal for these sessions are to help you get the most out of your Siemens PLM software, to share the knowledge, and to build a community where that knowledge can be shared. Today's topic is drafting in an X12. And you're gonna see that we can draft with ease inside of the manufacturing environment. And that's the, the basis of this is within the manufacturing environment. Previously, you could only jump to drafting from um, modeling or from assembly. And we're gonna show you how this is done now, being able to jump from manufacturing. Um, it's all within the inside of this the one software platform. It holds the associativity, and it's an easy way to create detailed work instructions, or I should say, add to your work instructions. And you can create full prints of your tooling and fixturing. So let's see what that looks like inside of NXCAM. So here I just have a a, a program that I've wrote previously. <clears throat> Excuse me, just so I could show you this detail. We're going to be in the manufacturing environment. And as I said previously, you could go from modeling or from um, assembly, but to go from manufacturing, you weren't able to do that previously from uh, NX 11 and below. So now to do that, just to show you the, the purpose of this is before you could, you have your shop documentation, which <clears throat> gives you a detailed tool list and operation list. And it can get, you have pictures of the detail of what that operation is going to do. And then you have work instruction outside of the operations here, work instruction. And you can, these, this is an addition to these, this. A shop documentation, you don't have the ability to pull in prints. Work instruction, you do have the ability to pull in prints, but those prints have to be made from somewhere. So this helps you streamline that process. And it gives you the ability to add very strong detailed prints of your setup or your part or additional fixturing or anything that uh, you want to detail to give the, the setup person so that they have as much information as possible. So let's show you how this is done. We can jump application directly into to drafting and then our drafting ribbon comes up just as like we would be in drafting in any other uh, way. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to create a new sheet using the template and it gives you a list of everything on screen. So this is everything that's on screen right now. And what I want is the chunk chuck or the chuck setup assembly. So this is it here using this one and you just follow through This gives you a, a really easy way of picking your views. Just showing you what those are. Take away the ISO view and then finish. And now we have the ability to, to detail this. And this here is just an example, but the purpose of why I chose this was Previously, you didn't have the ability to, to have these drafts right at your fingertips. So unless you went outside of the uh, manufacturing environment, created them, and then you would have to bring them in in a different way. But now we could draw, we could have annotations. We could tell it that this is, a, say we had multiple fixtures or multiple size chucks. We could detail what that chuck was. We could detail specific dimensions. Say we had uh, a say it was a parallel underneath the part, we could detail what parallel was needed. So, and it's not just uh, restricted to one. You can have as many sheets as you want. So say I wanna detail something on the part itself. Create the, the view. This time we're going to use the part. Here. And say I wanted to just say something about that porthole there. We can finish this. 
say, say something is critical with this hole, or I wanted to put a, a note. here. So say I wanted to add a part number there, but now I want to say um, say port must be on the right side of the part for setup purposes. So you can see how important this is and how easy adding detail to this stuff is and this will make it much easier to create detailed work instructions and then we can just jump right back into the manufacturing environment and continue on with our program so you can see that this is going to add a lot of power to our setups and it's it's very simple we don't have to do a whole lot of work to do it and it's going to broaden our our abilities with passing on information from the programmer to the setup person So here are some links that you can go to to get more information about Ceratech. And I hope that this was informative and it, there are many more of these coming. So we have these uh, all the time. So I hope that this was informative for you. And with that, I say thank you and goodbye.